Bonjour et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Cindy. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the French feminine possessive pronouns. In other words, we're going to learn how to say mine, yours, his, hers, ours and theirs when referring to females or feminine objects. The first thing you need to know is that French possessive pronouns are different to English possessive pronouns in that French possessive pronouns agree in number and gender with the noun they replace and not with the possessor. For example, in English, if you wanted to say it's hers, you would be using hers because the possessor is female. But in French, the possessive pronoun you would use would depend on what hers refers to. For example, if hers replaced a masculine noun, then you would need to use a masculine possessive pronoun. And if hers replaced a feminine noun, then you would need to use a feminine possessive pronoun. So which possessive pronoun you need to use depends on the gender and number of the noun it replaces. And the other thing which is different in French is that you need to use a definite article in front of the possessive pronoun. So if the possessive pronoun is masculine, you need to use le. If it's feminine, you need to use la. And if it's plural, you need to use les. In this lesson, we're only going to learn about the feminine possessive pronouns, but if you also want to learn about the masculine possessive pronouns, click on the info card that will pop up on your screen. So, if the possessive pronoun refers to a feminine singular noun, that is, if mine, yours, his, hers, etc. refer to a feminine singular noun, such as une sœur, a sister, then you need to use la mienne to say mine, la tienne to say yours, la sienne to say his or hers, as you can see, la sienne can mean either his or hers because in French, possessive pronouns do not agree with the person who owns the thing we're referring to. So again, if the possessive pronoun refers to a feminine singular noun and we want to say ours, we need to use la nôtre. To say yours, we need to use la vôtre. And to say there's, we need to use la leur. If the possessive pronoun refers to a feminine plural noun, such as sisters, for example, then you need to use les instead of la and add an s to the possessive pronoun, like so. To say mine, again referring to a feminine plural noun, you need to use les miennes. To say yours, use les tiennes. To say his or hers, say les siennes. Ours would be les nôtres. Yours would be les vôtres. And to say theirs, you would need to say les leurs. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. Ma mère est plus jeune que ta mère. My mother is younger than your mother. Now, what could we substitute ta mère with to avoid repetition? To avoid repetition, we could say Ma mère est plus jeune que la tienne. My mother is younger than yours. And why did we use la tienne? We use la tienne because it replaces ta mère, meaning your mother, and mère is a feminine singular noun. Ma sœur a cinq ans. My sister is five years old. How would you say mine is eleven years old? Mine is eleven years old. You would say la mienne a onze ans. Why la mienne? Because you want to say mine and la mienne, which means mine, replaces ma sœur and sœur is a feminine singular noun. Now let's have a look at a couple more examples. Ce sont les filles de qui? Whose daughters are they? Ce sont les nôtres. They're ours. 
Now, why are we using les nôtres and not la nôtre to say ours? We're using les nôtres because les nôtres replaces nos filles, our daughters, and filles is a feminine plural noun. C'est la jupe de Sarah? Is it Sarah's skirt? Oui, c'est la sienne. Yes, it's hers. Remember that we're using la sienne here to mean hers, not because Sarah is a girl, but because la jupe is feminine and singular. Remember that in French, the possessive pronoun agrees in number and gender with the noun it replaces, not with the possessor. So, up until now, you've learned that in French, the possessive pronoun includes a definite article, which in the feminine is either la or les. But sometimes the possessive pronoun is preceded by the preposition a, for example, if you want to say something like to yours, and a and les always contract to o, spelled a-u-x. Les can never be preceded by a. So instead of saying a les miennes, you would need to say o miennes. Instead of saying a les tiennes, say o tiennes. A les siennes becomes o siennes. A les nôtres becomes o nôtres. Don't say a les vôtres, but au vôtre. And instead of saying à les leurs, you need to say au leur. So à and les become au, but bear in mind that à and la do not contract. So let's have a look at a few examples. Dis bonjour à tes sœurs de ma part. Say hello to your sisters for me. Passe aussi le bonjour aux tiennes pour moi. Say hello to yours for me as well. So, au tien stands for a les tiennes. But as you saw previously, it would be a mistake to say a les tiennes. Because a les always contract to o. And why are we using tien with an s? Because it refers to the noun sœur, sisters, which is a feminine plural noun. So, if it wasn't for the preposition a, we would have simply used les Tien, but because the possessive pronoun is preceded by the preposition a, a and les become o. Je pense à ma grand-mère. I'm thinking about my grandmother. Moi aussi je pense à la mienne. I'm thinking about mine too. The other preposition that has an effect on possessive pronouns is the preposition de, because de and les always become de. So instead of saying de les miennes, you need to say des miennes. Instead of saying de les tiennes, say des tiennes. Don't say de les siennes, but des siennes. De les nôtres becomes des nôtres. De les vôtres becomes des vôtres. And instead of saying de les leurs, say des leurs. So, de and les always become des, but just as is the case with the preposition a, de and la do not contract. For example, ma voiture est en panne, j'ai besoin de ta voiture. My car broke down, I need your car. What could you say instead of de ta voiture to avoid repetition of voiture? You could say ma voiture est en panne, my car broke down, j'ai besoin de la tienne, I need yours. And why would we use la tienne? Because la tienne refers to the noun voiture, which is a feminine singular noun, and de and la do not contract. Où sont mes chaussures? Where are my shoes? Elles sont à côté des miennes. They are near mine. Des miennes stands for de les miennes, but as we saw previously, de 
only contract to D. And we're using mien with an S because mien refers to chaussure, which is a feminine plural noun. In other words, when you say elles sont à côté des miennes, they are near mine, what you mean is elles sont à côté de mes chaussures, they are near my shoes. And chaussures, shoes, is a feminine plural noun. I hope you found this lesson useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And if you still have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. That's what the comments are for. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I upload new videos regularly. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, all the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.